Good morning, Rocketeers. Welcome to Unit 3, SEL Week 7, Day 5. Day 5. Oh, sorry, Rocketeers. I'm so excited. I even skipped pages. Day 5. Shara, how did HD feel at first about climbing ladders? How did he feel at the end of the story? Comment down below, Rocketeers. Tell me how did, how, what was the feel? What, was, what feeling was HD feeling? So much feeling. Objective. I can persist by being patient with myself and the process of learning because growth takes time. Day five, reading focus. Today we will read a story about a young lion who isn't growing and learning as quickly as others around him. Think about Leo and how he probably feels. Have you ever felt like Leo? Leo, the late bloomer. Rocketeers, today we're going to read a new book and we're so excited. Pay attention to everything Leo does. Leo, the late bloomer. Leo couldn't do anything right. He couldn't read. He couldn't write. He couldn't draw. He was a sloppy eater. And he never said a word. Hoot, thrump, pip, crunch. What's the matter with Leo? Asked Leo's father. Nothing, said Leo's mother. Leo is just a late bloomer. Better late than never, thought Leo's father. Every day, every day, Leo's father watched for signs of blooming. And every night, Leo's father watched him for signs of blooming. Are you sure Leo's a bloomer? asked Leo's father. Patience, said Leo's mother. A watch bloomer doesn't bloom. So Leo's father watched television instead of Leo. The snows came. Leo's father wasn't watching, but Leo still wasn't blooming. The trees bubbled, bub, uh, Leo's father wasn't watching, but Leo still wasn't blooming. Then one day, in his own good time, Leo bloomed. He could read, he could write. He could draw, he ate neatly. He also spoke and it wasn't just a word. It was a whole sentence and that sentence was I made it. Day five, think about the text. How did Leo change? How do you think Leo felt at the end of the story? How would the story be different if Leo stopped trying? Great review. Leo, Lou, and Humpty Dumpty. Leo, Lou, and HD struggled with discouragement. What had them feeling this way in their stories? Hmm, I want to see what you think. Comment in the comments below. Great lessons from Leo, Lou, and HD. What lessons have we learned about grit from each of these characters and the challenges they, fa they face? So in Leo, the book that we just re read, Leo learns patience. And then we learn from Lou, we learn some courage. And then in HD, the book, we learn some persistence. Now, so, go ahead. Sorry, I was so excited. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. I'm so ready to do this activity. Miss Daisy, you are so awesome. I having to list these steps. So now Rocketeers, 
we are ready to do an activity, but we want you to first go around your house and try to see if you can find these supplies first before we get started. So, Ms. Daisy, go ahead and go over what we need. First, you need the most important thing, what I always say in art. You need a pencil. You need a pencil. Pencil. Second, you need color pencils and markers, whichever one you have. If you don't have either or, use what you got. And then the last thing, you need a paper. You need a piece of paper. Now, our project has to do with Leo, the late bloomer. Now, Ms. Lovato, what was yes, Leo's problem? What was, Leo's what was what? Problem? What was Leo's problem? Uh, Leo's problem was he he was just patient he was not blooming yeah he was not blooming and that is what our activity is about today we are going to be drawing a flower that looks like this or it looks like that like miss lovato miss pulido or miss gomez and in each petal of your flower you're gonna write one thing you have bloomed over this year now we're gonna go around and you're gonna, we're gonna share out one thing from our flower that we have bloomed. And I will start off first. So one thing that I have mastered throughout the year and I still feel like I can grow is on the recording. Recording lessons was not easy at the beginning of this whole learning distance, but now I feel like I've gotten a lot more better. So I definitely bloomed with the recording. Ms. Lovato, go ahead. Uh, for me, Rocketeers, I feel like I um, grown some. I bloomed in patience and in learning, because patience is because there's a whole lot going on, and I'm afraid to try it. But I get the courage and I show persistence because I have to learn it. I'm learning something new every day, and so my brain is growing. So for you, Rocketeers, for TK and Kinder, this could also be learning how to use a computer on your own learning how to problem solve on your own, learning how to input on the job forms on your own. It could be a lot more things where you're becoming more independent on your own. Ms. Gomez, what do you have? So I put keeping my room clean. So I've been able since this whole distance learning has been in place and Ms. Gomez is working in her room, I've been able to keep it cleaner and not have so much stuff everywhere. What about you, Ms. Pulido? Hi, hey, Rocketeers. So for me, so mine, I have a lot, but my main one has to be baking. This is the thing. I would always ask Miss Daisy to please make me cookies, please make me brownies. And one day she said, nope, I'm leaving. You have to learn on your own. So I was really like, do I really want to learn on my own? And she said, you have to, because one day, you're gonna have to do it on your own. So now I've been baking constantly. My cupcakes are so yummy. My brownies are so yummy, even though Miss Daisy says they're not, but she says they're not because she wants me to do 10 times better the next time. And that's just the way she shows me love, but they're super yummy. So I kept, I bloomed on my baking. Yeah. So with those examples, Rocketeers, you have, these are, there's a couple of steps to take. One, if you don't have a printer or anything to print out the template of the flower, then the cool thing about it is we can draw it out. Miss Daisy drew her out, hers out just because it was a lot easier for me and I thought it would be a lot more fun to challenge myself to drawing a flower. Your first step is, Miss Lovato, go ahead. Draw a flower with five petals using a pencil first. Using a pencil. Pencil. Step two, trace with a marker. That's what we did. What's <clears throat> step number three, Pulido? Step three is add five things that you got good at after you're gonna color it. Wait, and quick that, question. Yeah, I'm sorry, quick question. Does this yeah. have to be something hard? Do they have to write a full sentence or is it just one word so that that way it's clear? No, it can either be a word or a picture, Rocketeers. Miss Daisy did both on hers. If you can see in my flower, I added little drawings and I added words on my petals. So it can be either or 
whatever you want to make it easier to express yourself. But Rocketeers, that is the activity for today's lesson for SEL. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Be creative, Rocketeers. I know Miss Daisy really likes the background really colored. Let's see what you guys come up with. And the top five for each grade will be able to be on the next slide. So make sure you comment below. If you have job forms, please go to the Facebook page and comment. Yes, and for my friends who would need the template of the flower, we are going to be posting it separately so that you guys can print it out, get a parent to print it out for you. This week, big questions. What can you do to calm down if you feel scared or discouraged? Blue or yellow zone? Remember your zones. What lesson can you learn from Blue, Leo, and Humpty Dumpty about persisting and facing your fears? Sometimes we need patience with ourselves. Are there things you couldn't do at the beginning of the year that you are now able to do? I know for a fact we all have something we have gotten so much better. With all this distance learning happening out, of, happening out of nowhere, we have all learned something new. Us as your teachers and you guys as students. So I can't wait to see your beautiful flowers and the way you guys bloom this year. Thank you so much, Rocketeer. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.